So this is uh, the narrow waters rose that I planted against one of the walls of home. South facing, I planted it last year. And as you can see, as I look from the bottom up to the top, it's grown, if you compare it against the door, over six feet. It's also been in flower for most of the summer. We're in August now. So it's, it did its first flush in June and then carried on through July. And despite the rain, it's still going strong. And the purpose of this video is to um, talk you through how to deadhead it, where to cut it back. It's a continuous flying rambler, so it isn't necessarily the same as other ramblers. And also to do a little bit of formative pruning in the summer. If we um, go around to the side, you can see that it grows out a little bit. Uh, it dangles down. If we go closer, these bits here and down here, if you've got grandchildren, those are the sort of things that scratch them as they run past. So I'm going to do something about those. If I shake this off, you can see there are a number of deadheads. I'm going to get rid of this and deadhead it. What I'm looking for is in an armpit, if you like, between a leaf and the main stalk. I'm looking for a bud that uh, has uh, a chance of growing. You can just see one in there on focus, but I'm going to cut like so, and I'm going to get another one. The, obviously, this is the deadhead I'm trying to get rid of. And it, there is a bud in every juncture of a leaf and stalk. What I'm looking for is one that has uh, begun to shoot. This one is, you can, I hope you can see that relatively clearly, that one is definitely in motion. So slightly slanting cut just above it, and that's done. And that then will sprout. And this year it will produce more growth that will have flowering shoots on it. And so we'll get more flowers in uh, this probably September and October from that one. You can see that there are buds on the plant right now, which are going to come into flower in the next week or two. Um, and then in the growing tips, such as this one here, I won't put it to pieces, but there are little buds in there, which will be there in the fullness of time. So when I get to a shoot like this, which is actually dangling down much more at three-year-old eye level, I am going to cut this back. Okay, it's got a good flower head on it, but that's nearly over. In a day or two, it will be gone. So I'm going to look for a growth in like that. There you go. There's one there, but you can see there's another one there and hopefully another one there. And then there's one back there. And I'm going to go for that one back here. There's no right or wrong about it. It's just that's close enough to the plant, hopefully for it to grow up and look for the light rather than dangle down. The last thing I want to show is um, the speed at which this happens. Here, this shoot here is a result of my mispruning. And um, I cut a branch back. You can pretty clearly see where here. And there's the old bit of branch that I cut off. And this is the new shoot that's come out. And I then did it again here. And I wasn't thinking very clearly because quite, quite simply, it's growing in the wrong direction and I've sort of forced it to grow out this way and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go right back down the stem looking for a bud or a branch. If I can't find a bud, I'm going to look for a, a leaf branch. There's one there uh, that is pointing inwards uh, so that the growth that comes up from it, this I'm going to, and by cutting here, I'm going to force it to grow that way. And that's going to grow in and grow away from the door and therefore not spear people as they come out. And that's pretty much all there is to it. This is an art, it's not a science. Um, and if you make a mistake with a rose-like narrow water, which is incredibly vigorous, it will just grow back and forgive you and carry on. And I hope that solves the problem of uh, deadheading and pruning a repeat flowering rose.